So, I had, um, this, um, API thing that they used for the TTS, for, um, you know how iOS has an API that can be utilized with the third-party speech engines, you, unfortunately, have to recreate voices yourself. Newsflash, you're going to need to re use personal voice to do that. And dare I say that it is not going to be so accurate. Like, if you try to use Microsoft Sam's voice, it is not going to be so accurate. And I don't think it's going to have that swag glitch. And, but yeah, no one's really utilizing it anymore. And I can tell you why that, right? I can tell you why that is. So, in iOS 16.0, we had someone, they added, back in 2022, when we had iOS 16.0, Apple introduced new voices, such being Eloquence, which I will play you. 10.36 a.m. Swipe with two fingers to open. Camera button. Power saving modem. Wi-Fi 3 bars. Battery 83%. Um, this, that was eloquence for you. And then they also included eSpeak. No. And then they had your usual, and then they included the other vocalizer compact voices after Samantha and them and Rishi and them, including Sangita and all the voices. And then for the funny part, they included... A novelty voices. Featuring. And I'll let you have a listen to it right now. Animals, two minutes, 30 seconds, top of screen, camera, two minutes, 32 seconds, two minutes, 33 seconds, two minutes, stitch off. And bad news and all the other voices. But now, and and later, later in the later in the year, they included eSpeak. 1.0 for beta testing. For beta testing in test flight, eSpeak was a beta back then before it became a fully functioning application. In, until the final release was out for the iTunes, for the App Store, and they added the inflection and all these other sliders. You had, you, you used before like one point, you had 1.8, 1.0.8, you had Still have the same features, but I'm pretty sure they also added voiceover languages, like 1.9 intonation. No, I think they updated their voice libraries in 1.8. 1.9, you had your intonation slider. You still had your word gap slider, but you had an intonation slider where you could adjust the intonation. And no, it was not inflection. 10, 1.10, I think they actually added the voiceover languages at that time. And 1.11, they added inflection sliders and, and more. And now they added the SSML break time adjustment slider with some bug fixes. And another synth library update. But soon they added RH Voice in May of last year, which which was I mean May is coming up in twenty twenty five anyway. And at the time of watching, if it is already 2025, which will be soon. 
they added May of 2023 they added the RH voice synthesizer and I will tell you now, RH Voice is very greedy. No. Non-routine LFC. Because they have never added any English voices. Ever. Even after making suggestions to actually do so. And... And at that time, so many people, including someone who actually wrote a four-star review for once, saying, uh, take your time, I know they have all the priorities and everything, and blah, blah, blah. Apparently, they're going to be stuck on those priorities forever. Because now, no one is utilizing any source code for any other TTS since... Including Deck Talk. Yeah, I wish Deck Talk were added to the iOS. And I also wish that Deck Talk was added to Android. So that someone could at least have the source code for Deck Talk to add that to iOS and Android. And if Jake Gross even had something, he could put out the source code to make Deck Talk available to other platforms. And, um,. Since that time, Orange Voice has not even added any English voices. And I hate the fact that they added... They only have a massive only in it. They claim that there are so many other voices already available on iOS. And they want them to stick with the voices you've got. And they also said in one other review that... Orange Voice does not have any... Voices, ex Macedonian and Albanian do not have any voices except RH Voice. What non-routine LLC does not know is that someone already made the source code for eSpeak available to the iOS platform. And I'm pretty sure they were still focused on adding more voices to the Android and Windows and Linux platform, respectively, since RH Voice is a set of Linux voices, along with Festival TTS. Speaking of Festival TTS, I wish they added that to iOS and Android. It was also a Windows thing that used to run in Windows XP. And let's just say it had some problems. A lot of them, too. And now... I feel like no one else is going to be utilizing that engine. Like, 